So I was um, cooking up some grits. These are just the like five minute ones. And there's a really cool way I make them and I don't know if other people make them that way. So I was like, oh, let me show you. So here I have uh, four cups of water boiling, which is pretty standard for the recipe. I, uh, I haven't added the salt yet because I wanted to show you. I'm adding about a teaspoon, about a teaspoon of salt. And I bought this pepper, so I want to try and use it as much as I can. Ooh, it's still pretty potent. I'm surprised. I mean, go Aldi. Uh, about a teaspoon of that. Just that a little bit. Put a tiny bit of effort, right? Um, then one cup of the grits. And these are the five minute kind because I'm lazy. Lower the heat because it was on medium high. Lower the heat to medium. Start cooking continuously, blah, blah, blah. Um, the only thing we really changed was I added more salt than it called for. I like it salty, plus you'll see why we need that extra salt. So just continue to stir this, not too much right now, but later you'll definitely have to stir it more. So I'm putting a lid on it, and I'm gonna just let that go. I may actually use a wooden spoon instead, because the whisk is good for making sure stuff's broken up, but once you've made sure it's broken up, there's really no need for the whisk. So we'll be back when this is almost ready, well, when this is ready for the next few things we're gonna drop into it. So, I will see you in a few minutes. Okay, this has actually been on for six minutes because even though it's five minute grits, it says five to seven minutes. And like I said, I got the spoon to stir and also scraped some of the bottom off because the whole point is just to make sure that it doesn't clump up. And that's what the whisk is for. Anyway, it's on low right now. So I do want it to continue to cook a little bit. We're gonna add one. You can add two cups of cheese if you want. I just want one because it'll help to thicken it. But this, let me move the bag of cheese, clearly. And the piece of resistance. I don't know if other people add this, but I like to add eggs. Which is why I add so much salt and pepper, because I like salt and pepper on my eggs. So there we go. There's the secret. I'm adding two eggs for the four servings. Uh, I have really great memories of grits, actually. So, my family, um, we used to eat fish on Fridays. Not just fish, but seafood. Um, other things, too. But we would eat that on Fridays, and then on Saturday, me, my brother, and my grandfather, we would have the fried fish, and we'd break up the pieces, and we'd put it in our grits. So, we'd have the fried fish, we'd heat it back up, and then we put that in our grits. I have not, well I haven't, I don't really deep fry anything, but if I ever get a piece of good fried fish, I would definitely save it to make with grits or any kind of fish that I think would be really good with this. But yep, it used to just be whiting fish, fry it, mix it with grits. I know that people do other things like shrimp and grits, but I know most of the grit recipes I see are not deep fried. This is pretty uh, like thick now. It'll get thicker as it cools. But this is, and I'll try and set aside a little bit in a moment to taste it. I will and I'll come back. But yeah, this is heaven. And some pieces, like some pieces just melt in, but some pieces as you can see are like a little stringy because of when we mixed it. But yeah, so I only had one cup of cheese because that'll make it fine. What we used to do is we'd have blocks of cheese. So you'd cut them up, put them in, let it sit so that it would be like this gooey piece of cheese. Just, it was like a really great surprise. So this is really awesome. This is definitely yeah, no, this will be four servings because I'm going to definitely eat some tonight and a couple over the next couple days for breakfast. But I hope you enjoyed this. Let me let it cool down for a moment and then we'll get back when it's cooled down a little bit so I can taste it for you. Okay, so it's been about a minute. And as you can see, I put a little aside on a glass plate. It's about two minutes actually, whatever. And so we're going to taste it. And I mixed it really well because I can see all of everything everywhere. It's great. Mmm. It's really good. So the cheese I use is like a blend. Usually it's just straight cheddar we use. If I ever get some straight cheddar, that's what I'll do. Straight cheddar. As opposed to homosexual cheddar, pansexual cheddar, bisexual cheddar. Sorry. I'm being stupid. But, um, 
yeah I mean just right just completely cheddar and not a blend um I hope you like this I'm actually gonna be making a bowl as soon as I turn this camera off so I can eat some and I will see you all in the next video bye